In this video, I'll be busting ridiculous Minecraft myths that I have found on the internet. From staring at an Enderman being a good thing, all the way to being able to get rainbow dogs. Also quickly, over 80% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please consider subscribing with notifications on as it is completely free and it helps me out a ton. All right, let's get into busting myths. Myth number one, if you constantly look at an Enderman, they will not move. So we all know in Minecraft, you shouldn't be looking at Enderman. All right, like end of story. But apparently if you stare them dead in the eye and show them you're not scared, they won't attack you. So I want to test this myth and see if it's true. Now. I guess we can just chuck him on this island and we're going to stare him dead in the eyes. Bang, chuck this bad boy down. Now, supposedly, if I stare him dead in the eyes, he won't move. Okay, I'm not going to stop looking at him. Oh, he's making a lot of noise, but he ain't moving. That is myth confirmed. Now, if I look away from him, he'll start attacking me. But if you look him in the eyes, they just stop. They don't want to fight you anymore. I mean, I don't know when this could be useful. Maybe if you're on like half a heart, turn around, stare him in the eyes and eat some food. But that is myth proven. All right, let's get straight into the next myth. Myth number two, sheep can eat grass through honey blocks. Now, I don't know when this would even be useful, but it's a myth nonetheless, and I'm here to bust it. So the first thing we need is to get ourselves a block of honey and of course a sheep. Might I add, this is the worst seed I think I've ever seen, but besides the point, we're here to bust myths, not, not look at seeds. So we chuck down two honey blocks just like that. Put down some fences. Okay, Perfect. Oh, that is not where I want it. All right, so supposedly if we shear the sheep and chuck him on here, he should eat the grass through it. Shear him? All right, so supposedly when he's a hungry man, he should just eat the grass straight through the honey. Come on, buddy, don't let me down. Come on, champion. Look, you got honey on your feet. You're hungry. Just get, just have a little munch. Right, I've got all day. Just eat that grass and you can be free. Well, I say free, but you'll be deserted on this island. See, I don't want to be like, oh, myth, myth busted because I don't know. I feel like this is true. I saw a, I saw a clip of it. At the same time, if this man doesn't eat grass, how can I, how can I say it's a true myth? I need to prove it to you guys and i'm not proving anything oh oh okay well as i say that there we go we proved it all right that is myth confirmed sheep can eat grass through honey i don't know why you would even need this or why you would care but i mean i guess you can make like a sheep pen out of honey it's kind of cool myth number three you can spawn in a red dog using a secret command all right now the command is summon wolf and then obviously we need to put it in the coordinates so we'll just spawn him right on top of us and then minecraft on underscore tame this is meant to spawn a red wolf but uh, by the looks of it this command isn't even gonna work we'll try it. all right three two one. Let's see. Okay, well, whatever that command is, it does not work. That is myth busted. It obviously doesn't work. Myth number four, end portals can break bedrock. So I'm not too sure what situation you'd use this in, but nonetheless, we're here to bust it. Let's see if it's true. We need to get end portal. We'll chuck them down. We'll go bang, bang, bang. Boom, boom, boom. Bing, bang, boom. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Now, if we put bedrock in here, apparently these portals are meant to break it. So let's chuck in the eyes of Ender. And three, two, one, bang. Oh, and as you can see, it's all been changed and there's no bedrock anywhere. That is myth confirmed. You can break bedrock using an end portal. Myth number five. If you bone mill an azalea bush, it will turn into an azalea tree. So there are not any azalea saplings from my knowledge. There is only the bushes. And apparently, if you put this down on the floor and then get yourself some bone mill, it'll grow into a luscious tree. So let's see if this is true or not. So let's put down the bush. And bang, just like that, you can grow yourself a luscious tree. I don't know when you're ever going to be able to use this. There you go. That's myth confirmed. Myth number six, you can stop all fall damage by pausing the game and rejoining. Now, supposedly, if I jump off and land all the way down there on that grass, if I pause, it should freeze. Yes. So if I jump down there, press pause right before I'm about to hit the ground, leave, rejoin, it should save me from dying. Let's see if it's true or not. Three, two, one. Let's jump off. Okay, we're gonna time this right. Bang, just like that. Save, quit, single player. Let's reopen this world up. And in three, two, one, let's see if we take any fall damage. Come on. Bang, just like that. Zero fall damage has been taken. All right, well, that is myth confirmed. We managed to jump all the way from up there and land down here, and we've taken no fall damage. Myth number seven, if a pig is struck by lightning, it will become a zombie pigment. All right, we've got a few little pigs. Now we're gonna get ourselves a channeling trident. All right, let's chuck these two together, just like that. And then we're gonna go weather, rain. And now if we throw this trident at the pigs, apparently they're gonna turn into zombie pigments. In three, two, one, let's give it a go. Blow. Oh, no, it's going to be thunder. Oh, I've, I've stuffed this up again. Oh, my God. All right. Well, that is myth confirmed. They turned into zombie pigments, and a lot of them are that. What am I doing? Oh, my God. I've created a mess. Get me out of here. Myth number eight. Nether stars cannot be exploded. So we all know if you have a pile of items and something explodes right near it, you lose all of them. But apparently, nether stars do not explode. So let's get ourselves a nether star and some TNT and test this just to see if they're TNT proof. Let's chuck down one TNT, a nether star. And you know what? Just to make sure, we'll put down a diamond as well. Arguably, diamonds are more precious, but we'll see. Will this nether the star be able to withhold this explosion three two one let's go oh i've crouched oh god is the nether star going to live or not oh wait did it 
Oh, it did. All right, myth confirmed. You cannot blow up nether stars. I mean, I don't really know when this is useful, but it's kind of cool. At least we know that our precious nether stars won't be getting taken away from us anytime soon. Myth number nine, you can put carpet on llamas. Now, I know this isn't technically a myth, okay? Before you guys go to the comment section, you're like, oh, but Mal, this isn't a myth. It's a game feature. I don't know if it's a game feature, all right? I need to test it. So nonetheless, we're going to chuck down a llama, open up his inventory. Oh, I've got to, I've got to tame him somehow. How do I tame this bad boy? He might be my friend. Has this little slot here. And I think you can put carpet on it. Oh, you can. All right. And just like that, you can make him drippy as hell. Now, again, I'm sorry. I know this is a game feature, but I genuinely didn't know that. And I feel like some people might not know that either. Myth number 10, you can get an achievement by giving a zombie a diamond. Okay. So let's get ourselves a zombie quickly. Oh, not a zombie. Yeah, we need a zombie. And then a diamond. There's obviously the achievement when you drop your friend's diamonds. I don't even know if it's in the game anymore. I've got a feeling it isn't, but we're going to try it nonetheless. So let's go to night. Chuck down a zombie. And apparently if we drop him a diamond and he picks it up, we get an achievement. Come grab this diamond, please. Come on, buddy. Take my diamond. You know you want it. Take it. What? He won't even take my diamond. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say myth busted. This zombie does not want my diamond. He wants nothing to do with me, let alone an achievement. Screw you. Get away from me. Myth number 11. Searching excited Z in the crafting table will change your game's entire language to pirate. So we all know that this is a pirate language, but apparently if we get a crafting table and we open the book up and go here and then type in excited Z... Oh, well, I mean, assuming that this is right, we will, everything will be in pirate. And as you can see, it changes the name of everything to pirate, which is pretty cool. I knew about the language, but I didn't know that this was a feature in the game. It's honestly really cool. Myth number 12, drip leaves can be used to enter one block hole. Now this could actually be a useful myth because if you wanted to hide your stuff in a one block hole and you wanted to use a drip leaf to get in, honestly, a pretty cool way to do it. So let's get ourselves a drip leaf. And obviously we all know if you stand on a drip leaf, it'll fall and break. Just like that. But apparently if there's a bunch of drip leaves, you can actually get under them and enter a one block hole. So let's quickly go and find somewhere to do this. And now if we block that off and then put a bunch of drip leaves out the front, apparently we'll be able to just crawl all the way in. So bang, let's jump on this front thing. And let's see if it resets, we should get pushed under. Oh, and just like that, we are underneath the drip leaves, which means, yep, this is myth confirmed. If you really wanted to, you could use this as a pretty cool way to get into your house. Myth number 13, you can use two powdered snow to infinitely power up. We all know in 1.17 that there is powdered snow, but if you use two buckets of snow, you're meant to be able to infinitely power up. Obviously, you need leather boots so you don't sink into the snow. So let's quickly grab ourselves a pair of those. And apparently, if we jump on top of these, we can use these to infinitely power up. If we get the right angle, bang. Oh, you can. But yes, you can infinitely tower up with snow. This is pretty cool. This is pretty much just like a better version of scaffolding. But it's very cool. Myth confirmed, you can use two buckets of snow to infinitely tower up. Myth number 14, you can use a spyglass with a crossbow. We all know in the new 1.17, they added in the brand new spyglass. It's pretty much just a zoom feature. But apparently, if you use a crossbow with it and charge a crossbow up, you can use a spyglass. Okay, let's charge in our offhand and then get ourselves a spyglass. And then, yep, you can zoom in and snipe something out. And then you'd be like, okay, I want to shoot this. Bang. Oh, it doesn't have an arrow on it. Wait, it's not working. Hold on. Wait, can you not do this? I, I can't get it to work. Unless I'm doing this wrong, I think this is myth busted. It's not working. And if I switch these around, I don't think it makes any difference. Yep, that, okay, well, that doesn't work. Myth busted, I thought that one was true, but apparently not. Myth number 15 and the final myth of the video, you can use the name tag Jeb on dogs. Everyone knows what the name tag Jeb is. It gives you a rainbow sheep. I heard a myth online that apparently you can put this on a dog and get a rainbow dog. Now, I don't know if that means the entire dog is rainbow or just its color, but I am here to try it. So let's get the dog first, just like that. Let's sit him down, get the name tag, chuck the name Jeb onto it, bang, just like that. And now, apparently, if we chuck this on the dog, it should turn rainbow or maybe it's color. I have no idea. Three, two, one, go. Okay, myth busted. You cannot have a rainbow dog or a rainbow collar, but honestly, it'd be kind of cool. I don't know why this isn't a feature. Well, on that note, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you click another video on the screen. I promise you won't be disappointed, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Peace.